you want to say that uh, that doesn't yeah, put yeah. so this one I need to put context to a little bit, but um, it's been I've been tinkering with it since 20 summer of 2021. And it was during that whole time during the pandemic where all that social unrest, Black Lives Matter movement, people protesting. Um, I was working at the hospital, so I was kind of pretty much underwater the whole time. So just wanted to contribute in some way positively. And so this is my little, I wouldn't call it a, it certainly doesn't fit in a protest song category, but I guess a call to action yeah. category. Um, like I said, I've been tinkering with it ever since. So yeah, I'm not usually good with writing things that are a positive bent, but I've been working on it. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, um, Ira, will you, uh, can you play this for us? I will do that. And bear with me just a second as I bring it back. There you go. All right, I'm going to hit play. Sometimes what we need is more than ourselves. We gotta look for the good in each other. In every neighborhood, every sister and brother. We don't have to let the darkness drag us down. To shine a light to chase the darkness out. We've got to find a way to feel in free and open up our hearts. It's not as hard as we think to start. We've got to find a way before we're lost. And wasting all this time is giving up We've got to find a way, got to find a way, got to find a way And everywhere I go, I hear people cry for change and all of our leaders are deaf or blind to their pain. Everything got twisted when kindness was killed by hate. Is there any hope left in our hearts? Will we be okay? heroes in our own stories cause truth be told we won't get a second chance we are what we believe and the truth is hard to find we may have lost our way for the moment but now the time is right We've got to find a way to be free and open up our hearts. It's not as hard as we think to start. We've got to find our way before we're lost. We're wasting all our time and just giving up. Got to find a way, got to find a way, got to find a way. We've 
gotta find a way We've gotta find a way We've gotta find a way Yay! Very nicely done. Yay! Thank you. Alright, so... Um, this is actually similar to Bruce's thing. Uh, I indented this section, so you have, you have verse, but you actually have a three-line verse, then you have a four-line verse, then you have a chorus, then you have a bridge, then you have a verse, four-line chorus, and then you have your chorus. And, and so the, the form feels funky to me. Um, and I, I hesitate a little bit to push people into like traditional song. Like in order for your song to be good, you must use this box. You must fit into this, <laughs> this shape. Um, but one of the reasons why those sh those shapes have stood the test of time is because they work so well, uh, you know. And this is in every genre: rock, pop, funk, folk, R and B, you know, heavy metal, uh, industrial music. You know, like the 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 song forms survive and and grow. Hip hop, you know, like. Uh, because these song forms work so well, you know, and, 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 and occasionally songs that break the song forms are amazing, you know, like, uh, you know, try and put Bohemian Rhapsody in a song form, you know, the thing, you know, okay, Bohemian Rhapsody is a terrible song because it doesn't follow the traditional verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. No, you know, like, like, you know, be a moron to think that or, or Stairway to Heaven or Sloop B Sales by the, by the, uh, Beach Boys, but this, and, and for the record, I call those types of songs, they're called through written songs, where they go from one thing to the next, to the next, to the, and, and they, 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 they kind of, they kind of build, but that's not what you have here. You know, you don't have what I would call a through written song where, uh, which is more cinematic and more theatrical. Um, you have kind of a traditional song with sections that feel like they're out of order only because we've been we're used to hearing them so we're, we're used to hearing songs like this in a certain kind of way um so so musically what i would do um i would i would put this here then do a chorus here which would still allow you to have and, and I, I say this in, in love it, it allows you to have this funky first verse this funky three line first verse there's, there's really no reason for that but it's super cool you know like it's you know like I, I want to say oh this needs to be four lines because my grandfather wrote four line verses and his grandfather wrote four line verses and by God, that's the tradition in this. No, like it's it's really cool. I, I love that. Um, yeah, but this... I, did, I did notice that they weren't, you know, mirroring each other and I just kept it that way. Cause that's the way I feel it. Yeah, so... it, it's, 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 it's cool and it, it's a... Uh... My question is, is would doing this this new change not make it feel way too long? Because it's already kind of. How long close, is it now? I don't know. Close to four minutes at least. Is it? Yeah, that could that could be pretty. That could be pretty long. That would just be my only consideration for that. Yeah. Um, but I would risk. You know, I would risk having a longer song that. Because it just felt funny going to this section. 
similar okay. to to Bruce's thing. It because because then you come back to a verse. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, uh, there is a oh God, what's the song? I'm reaching. Um, uh, it is a Nat King Cole straighten up and fly right. Yeah. That has your song form. A brother took a, 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 a ride. A buzzer took a monkey for a ride in the air. The monkey thought that everything was on the square. The monkey tried to throw the buzzer off his back, but the monkey grabbed his head. Now listen, Jack. That was verse. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool round, brother. Don't you blow your top. There's no use in diving. What's the use of jiving? Won't you straighten up and fly right? Cool down, brother. Won't you blow your top? The monkey told the buzzer bo bridge. So it goes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You guys had to sit through that. <laughs> uh, straighten up and fly right. Verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. And it works phenomenally okay. and it's short and it's sweet but but that's not what you did you go verse chorus you go verse verse chorus bridge verse chorus and that that just feels funky that feels funky to me okay um i i, I think you i think you could get away i think you get away with it um Get away with what? Um, 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 yeah, that's, I mean, that's, I, 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 and I, I, I hate being a traditionalist in this sense. I, I, I like, I, I really do, but it, but it just, here, here's, here's how I would, here's how I would do this. Here's how to make the decision, not based on what Shane says. I would go, uh, you've, uh, you guys have heard me talk about making a, a top 10 list of your favorite songs from childhood from, you know, 12 to 19 years old, and then making another top 10 list as an adult and listen to those songs. And if those songs have funky forms, then keep your funky form. If your songs don't, then you're, you're kind of going against what you actually like. You know, like, 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 I'll use an example, you know, like, hypothetically, uh, like, uh, like, if, if all the songs on that list are, are Bohemian Rhapsody, and, uh, uh, you know, a, a lot of progressive rock stuff, you know, yes, um, you know, where it moves, where, where it's more cinematic, and goes section to section, and section to section, if that's what, uh, comprises the most of that list then uh then keep it that way that that way you'll be you'll stay true to yourself but you know but let's say hypothetically you like uh man i listen to a lot of james taylor and paul simon and you know more traditional songwriters um you know if that's your bag then none of them are doing that i'm trying i'm trying to think of, well i'm actually paul simon later in life paul simon at you know sort of but uh, does, does, that, does, that, does that make sense? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I want you to be true to you and not true to Shane, what Shane thinks, you know? Sure, sure, I understand. Thank you. All right, thanks so much.